We're gonna to cut to this call right now, but this was, this is call two. So call one was from the cold caller. So if you're doing direct cold calling, you might start this conversation a little bit differently. We already know that this seller wants to sell, right? So now I'm coming in, I've got a little bit of information and I'm gonna to try to like, you know, get the deal done. So here we go. Yeah. Hi, I'm calling about your house on Berwick. I believe you spoke to my team earlier today. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you're looking to sell this property and relocate to Atlanta, it looks like? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'd like to see if I can help you out. Uh, we can buy the house for cash, you know, so you don't have to worry about making any right. repairs or... Stop right there. Let's do I a I already stop. know what you're going to say. Let's do a stop. <laughs> so we just did a video on this about this benefit sell versus... I was thinking about that. ...solution <laughs> sell. So right out of the gate, and guys, there's a thousand ways to skin a cat. So I'm not to say here, what Jerry just did is wrong. Here's something I would do uniquely different. He started off the call, um, talking to him, he needs to move, or this, this gal needs to move, and they wanna to move to Atlanta. Well, hey, how can we help you? We can buy cash, we can, we can close quickly, and he starts selling these benefits, right? And the, the, where I go a little bit different is because everyone says this. Yeah. So the first thing, if you guys think about this, What's the first thing, like, as a wholesaler, why are you a wholesaler? Oh, it's because we can close mm -hmm. fast, we can give you cash, we can, we can buy as is, there's no realtor fees, there's no closing costs. Everyone knows these bullet points and that's what they sell. And so no one wants to be sold. Everyone's buyers, but no one wants to be sold. And so where I come in maybe a little bit different, Jerry, mm -hmm. is instead of going to that, I probably be more about rapport versus even worried about, here's what I can do for you, because people don't care about what you have to say until they know you care about them, right? Yeah. Zig Ziglar, this quote comes true, and so how do I get them to really just build rapport, trust me, before I start talking about anything I can do for them, because they really won't care what I have to do with right. them because they've heard it from 10 people. Yeah, so I, went, I just jumped right into benefit without even really it's building like much I'm rapport. This in 10 minutes or I don't want it. <laughs> I think I actually closed this one and it's five minutes, so I, yeah, I did, and did not. And you got this deal. Yeah. In five minutes. Yeah. Well then see, that's why I say there's some context here that well, also says, hey, he probably did this right knowing what his cold caller had brought to him. Right. And she's like, hey, I'm ready to sign. Just have Jerry call That's me. true. There was a 30 minute call with the cold caller about all kinds of stuff. So, yep. yep. but still, she hasn't talked to me. I'm the buyer. So I, I, I should have probably done. I still done. love rapport. Yes. You can never go wrong with rapport. Okay. Yep. Uh -huh. You know, we can make it really easy, convenient, close quickly. All of that. All right. Charlie Brown. Um, womp, womp, womp. Yeah. I was taking a look though, and it's uh This is not good right You know, it's it's kind of a rough area for <laughs> home sales, you know. What can you tell me about the house? What what kind of work needs would you have said that, Cody? I, I don't like to point out <laughs> negative. I wanna be on their team versus setting up a pitch that- You live in a bad neighborhood. Yeah, this is a crapshoot. <laughs> um, no, what I like to do is I like to, I like to be on the side where people know that I'm on their side and we're gonna work through this. So I'll say, hey, tell me about this neighborhood. I don't know much about it. There Can you, you help me understand a little bit more about yeah. this neighborhood? and let them reveal that it's a crapshoot or yeah. that, oh dude, it, I don't even know why you're buying this home. It's actually in a bad neighborhood. I just like to mirror them. So like, yeah, I want to sell. I'll just mirror those last words. I'll say, so you want to sell? And I'll just sit there. And then they'll start saying, yeah, I want to sell because I want to do this, talk. this, this. So you want to sell because you want to do that, that, that. And they're like, yeah, and they just keep going. So mirroring is huge right here. And I like to match their tone. So she seems like she's quiet. Mm and she's slower at speaking, and so I like to mirror people as well. So I, I'm gonna be a little bit more quieter, and I'm gonna mirror their speed, and I'm gonna be like, okay, so help me understand a little bit about this neighborhood. This is something I actually, I, I'm not familiar with this neighborhood, to be completely honest with you. Help me understand this a little bit. Got it, good, love it, thank you. Let's see. What can you tell me about the house? What, what kind of work needs done on the house? Um, no, I'm not gonna tell him no work. Okay, so that's that's condition. I love this. That's a condition question. Yeah. Anything that needs to be done with the house, can no. you tell me a little bit about it? No rapport building, jump right. I'm gonna just like jump right into close mode here. So again, yeah. you know, like she hasn't even said two words and I'm I'm already like, you know, going through the pillars. So maybe some more rapport building, but that that question, guys, that's is the condition question. question. No work needs done. I just only thing really need to be done is uh one of my glass lock lock windows is broken out, just one of the little squares in the front right here, you know. So you're talking about a glass block window, I think. The house is uh, perfectly fine, no need no repairs done. 
Are you perfectly fine. The house? the house is perfectly fine. Um, oh, you might, you, you may go into this. When someone says it's perfectly fine, no one's house is perfectly no. fine. In fact, even Jerry Norton's house is not perfectly fine. There are some flaws here yeah. that he would say, hey, at some point I'm gonna get to this, or there's a piece of landscaping in the back that we haven't finished yet because it's in the corner and that's where my dog goes and does his business or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But there's always some kind of flaw. So instead of asking it, well, I like to ask that. That's the great question. And, but if someone says, nah, there's just nothing needed, I'll say, perfect. Help me understand a little bit more about the house. When's the last time? It says it was built in 1985. Tell me when's the last time um, that the kitchen's been remodeled. How old is the roof? Yeah. How, How old, old is, is the, the furnace? And so you're you asking know? it with questions yeah. versus saying, well, most people's homes in 1985 have a bad this, 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 this. Now you're like, like throwing darts at them, right? Mm -hmm. Are you currently living in the house? Yeah, I live in the house. Yeah. Okay, so it's I live here. so it's livable. So that was a question. That, so you sometimes you don't know if they're living in the home. So I asked that question. She said, "Yes, I'm living in the home." That makes a difference. If it's occupied versus vacant, is a big difference. Phenomenal. That's a level of motivation. If yeah. it's vacant, the motivation level for me is like, "Ooh, this Goes is a better lead. Up. This is a better lead because it's vacant." Does it have wood floors? or carpet. Okay, so this in this market, this is significant, wood floors versus carpet. Uh, this is Metro Detroit, it's actually the city of Detroit, and values change significantly over wood floors versus yep. carpet. So, I, so I'm, I'm trying to now qualify more on the condition. Love it, love it. It has wood floors, but I got carpet on top of the wood floors. Okay, so if you pull up the carpet, there's wood floors underneath. It's wood floors, yeah, wood floors. Yep, and I see it's a three bedroom, one and a half bath. Is there, is the other, is yeah. the half bath in the basement? Yes, yeah, so, uh, sink and the toilet down there. Okay. It was a stand-up shower, but we took the shower out. Okay. And the garage, what kind of shape is the garage in? The garage is in good shape. It's a two-car garage. Uh, we also have like a upper level on, um, in the garage where you can store, you know, store things up there, like a shelf. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, and so if we were able to work out a price and come to an agreement, how soon are you looking to move? Okay, what's that question? I do love this, so that I can't go wrong with this because I love that you said, hey, if we're able to, that's the key word. I love if we're able to put something together to make this agreement. I love the choice of word. I love agreement over contract. Mm -hmm. You say this all the time and I love that you say that. Agreement over contract and if. Hey, I'm able to buy this. You don't want to be that. You want to be if, if we're able to do that. So I love what you did. And then you and got the, the timeline. The timeline, yeah. The timeline when, quality. yeah, when do you want to do something? When now remember, she's this? living in the home. So when it's vacant, the timeline seems to be, yeah, you know, whenever we can do it, right? Because it's vacant. Living in the home could present some things. Like I've had people say, well, you know, when my daughter graduates high school and how, well, how old's your daughter? She's 10, okay. You know what I mean? Is she so already, timeline. Uh, junior or senior? <laughs> like I told him, soon. Like sooner, the sooner the better. Okay. So you could be out in like a couple weeks if we could close that soon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I just qualified again. I love a couple it. weeks. There's nothing I can say. Okay. There. Like I, I would always. You're, you're fine, because I would have said, you went into it. I would have just said, okay, so what does that look like? Like, mm -hmm. soon, soon. So what does soon look yeah, like? what is soon for you? And you did it. You nailed it. And, um, I mean, what's the, what's the absolute, you know, lowest price that you want for the house that, that would make 20, 20. it? Okay, so what's wrong with the, is there something wrong with that question, or uh, timing, maybe? I... The way We're two minutes I, in. Yeah, I would I would probably be more about still stacking up and listening okay. yeah. and trying to figure out more about all the all the pillars. So mm -hmm. timeline, condition. I'm trying to figure out more before I even start talking price. Cause it and again, There's honestly, I don't even know this, though. honestly though, I don't even know why she's moving yet, right? Yeah. I, I just know she wants to go to Atlanta. Right. But what's the driving factor behind that's, that. That's what I like to find out okay. because I agree. the more I find out, the more it works to your benefit, my benefit, so that when we do have an offer that is gonna be down here, that you've already presented some options that, hey, if I'm able to close on this time frame, if I'm able to do it so that, you said that right now it's in rough condition, has some broken windows. Now this person said it was in perfect condition, but there was a broken block or something. But um, if you didn't have to do any kind of repairs or fix up, 
if I'm able to do this. And then they start talking, you're like, so tell me, what does that look like for you? Is this something that, how much do you owe on the property? Like, is this something that works out? Like you're trying to just figure out everything you can before we talk price, because if you can build this platter of, if I'm able to do this, 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 then they start to see, man, originally I wanted 200,000 for this home, but I would much rather have this. And so for that reason, I'll sell for 150. We already know her price because my pre-qualifier asks, what price would you like? Yeah. And I, and that's so a, we have that that's down. A, that's a, but that's, I still that's, ask. That's a sign of mm -hmm. motivation. Yeah. Price. So I, you have to ask price. Yeah. So here I ask, let me see here. So I ask her and, and she immediately has an answer. So she's already know, she knows